So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which you're going to see how you can create and manage with strings in C, right? So let's just go ahead and print a very simple message like hello there. How are you? And now I want to print a string. Actually, let's just get rid of this and let's just say how are you? And now I want to print a string. Well, I can just go ahead and do it in this continuation but what I want is something which I can modify later on right so just like we discussed for digits it's D for characters it's C for floating points it's F for strings it's percentage S now I can write here whatever I write notice that this is in double quotes because this is a string if I go ahead and run this tutorial 10.c you're gonna see that we have a nice little output how are you mail right so how do I store this in some sort of variable now how do I store it in such a way that I can write my name here and this works just like expected we haven't seen any string data type yet well the thing is in C there are no strings so what we resort to is something known as a collection of characters which actually makes sense if you think about it strings are nothing but a collection of characters so what we are gonna do is we're gonna start with a character data type I'm gonna write my name and I'm gonna put it like this but as you as you can see as you, as you know that this does not really work so what do we need to do well we need to make it a sort of a collection an array right and how do you convert a value to an array by actually writing these two square brackets these two square brackets actually tell that hey C listen up this thing this thing right here the name of your variable is actually a collection of this thing and how does it know that because of these two symbols here these two square brackets so whenever you write these two square brackets in front of her variable that means that the variable does not hold just a single instance of this but a collection of that so now if I go ahead and save this and run this again you're gonna see it basically is the same thing but now I can just change it right here run it again and you're gonna see that it changes just like that so I can very modify my variable and it's just gonna reflect it in the printf statement so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.